Hey guys, Hacksaw Tech here for another video, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Mauno AU PM 461T gaming microphone or just multi-purpose cardioid studio condenser mic. Um, and I'm going to talk about some of the difference between one of the other devices that I used. Um, I have a toner microphone as well. So the toner microphone that I have is the Toner TC777, which is another popular uh, gaming slash condenser mic um, that a lot of people like to use. Um, and there's a lot of videos on uh, this device online as well. Now, the one that I'm going to be talking about today, which is the Mauno AUPM 461T, it is actually an improved version of a version that was actually seen on YouTube by a lot of reviewers. There is a model on YouTube uh, that's very similar. I'm actually just going to go ahead and pop in here so you can see what I'm talking about. So if I do a search for this model that I got, you'll find that there is really no review of this particular unit, and that's because this is the new improved version of the AUPM461TR. The TR model is effectively a very similar, maybe even the same device. The only difference that is really evident here is um, the actual design of the base um, and some of the other little features here. I'm gonna do a direct comparison between the two so you can see um, what you're getting with this device. It is a little bit more expensive but comparable. Um, and I actually do prefer this device, and I'm going to talk about some of those reasons. Um, but I will also compare this to the toner device that I got as well, just to let you know what I think. I'll also do an audio comparison to the toner microphone that I have, so you can see which one that you think sounds better. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and do an unboxing so you can see what it looks like, how it is to set it up. So when we come back, I'm going to do a comparison of two things. First, we'll do a comparison between this and the TR unit. Uh, again, they are very similar, uh, but also I'll be doing a comparison to the toner device that I have as well, so you can see which one is better. Okay, so here I'm doing the unboxing for this particular mic. And we're going to just go ahead and take a look at the contents of the box. And this is where the mic is going to attach into. This is the mic itself. And here's the piece that you're going to screw the mic into. And this is the metal filter. This attaches to the front. We'll see that at the end. Now you'll see, you'll notice here that this is actually, it's very, it's got a good weight to it. This is actually the base that this is going to stand on. And of course the USB cable that we're going to plug into the mic. All right, so let's go ahead and put this together. Just going to screw this into the base. Really easy. Now I just got to loosen this top part here, and I'm going to go ahead and screw in the next piece. This is where I'm going to thread the mic through, where it rests and also gives it um, the ability to kind of reduce motion. Screwing in the microphone here. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and pop on the metal noise filter here, or the pop filter. So you can get an idea of what it's going to look like here, as well as the sizing of this device. And then finally, all I have to do here is just simply plug in the USB cable, plug that into the bottom of the mic, and then I will be ready to plug this into my PC. That's it. 
Okay guys, so let's go ahead and do a quick comparison of the two different Mauno models. Uh, and sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but um, you know, again, this is the M-A-O-N-O, -O, I believe it's Mauno uh, devices here. So there's two, um, the AUPM 461T and the 461TR. The only difference is the R at the end um, of the older model. Um, that I have the improved model to, from what I understand. So you can see here the difference. Um, there is an appearance difference. Uh, primarily, if you look at the one on the left here, which is what I've seen extensively covered on YouTube, which, by the way, just a quick shout-out. Quick shout-out to Tobias Holenstein. Um, he is the first person I watched um, to do a review of the TR model. Um, and that was a really great comparison with just that particular model. He also did a comparison to, um, I believe, the same tone or microphone, but I haven't seen anything covering this particular model yet, the 461T. So again, what you can see from the differences here, I'll go ahead and just show you a couple pictures. Um, for a direct comparison, the one on the left here, which is the older model, it has the foam style uh, cover for the mic. Uh, okay, as opposed to the device that I got, the T model has a metal filter over it. Um, and that's just one that pops onto the front, and then that metal filter constantly covers um, the microphone area. So that is one difference. And then the other obvious big difference here is the stand. Um, now, I'm just going to be honest here if I'm comparing the two. Um, so there's only a difference of about seven bucks. But personally, I really have an issue with the tripod stands um, on the gaming microphones. Just for me personally, I always find that if I tilt them a certain way, they tend to fall over, um, which doesn't mean that it's not a good device. But if I had to choose for preference, I definitely prefer um, something more similar to the one that I got here. So there's nothing wrong per se with the tripod style. I just personally prefer um, this style here where it's more of um, a single stand. I like that more because it's just a little bit more stable. It's easier for me to move around my desk. So personally, I think it's worth the extra $7 for that piece. But more than that, it's not just a matter of the actual design. Uh, it's a much sturdier, better feeling. And I can say that because even though I don't have the TR model, um, I do have the toner device here. And you can see from this particular model here that with the tripod um, style, again, it is really the same style um, as the TR model of the Mauno here. Um, and it does have this extra little pop filter in the front here, which this is definitely a nice addition for the toner model. But what you'll see here is if I kind of try and put this, stand it up, if I don't have it positioned correctly, you can kind of see it's starting to fall forward. So that was just my experience with the tripod style is it can get a little bit top heavy. Now mine, again, the toner does have a extra pop filter that you can apply. And if you're using that, it does add a little bit of extra weight so that can contribute um, to why it might fall over a little bit. But again, this is just a lot more stable um, and it feels really nice, really premium. Um, it is a full metal construction here. Um, so it's got a good amount of weight to it. It definitely is not going to fall over or anything like that. Um, and it's also a lot easier for me to kind of position the mic with this particular device where I want it to so that it's right in front of where I want to be speaking. Now you'll notice that between the two Mauno models that the they both do have this gain control, which is great. Um, you can set that to whatever you want so that you can kind of combine that with the software um, boosting or level lowering that you want to do so you can really fine tune the audio controls. So that's great. Another thing that is a positive uh, for me, at least with the PM461T model, um, is that it does um, just by default, it has a higher height um, where it stands. And you can see that the tripod one, you can obviously move those up and down and you can elevate the height to a degree, but this one just naturally stands a little bit higher, which is close, closer to where my mouth would be and is more convenient um, for my usage. So you could probably stand this Mauno uh, model here, the 461TR. I'm sure you could probably stand that or any 
um, device with a tripod style like the toner as well. You could stand it on something to make it higher, but it's just not as convenient. And I do also have to say that I like the metal pop filter. I've tested it. I haven't really noticed anything coming through any more than a foam filter, so it seems to do the job just as well. But obviously foam can wear over time a lot, and in my experience with foam, um, it just tends to, even if you're not really rubbing it against anything, it just wears down very quickly, by comparison at least, to something that's metal uh, or plastic or something like that. So the metal filter that is available for this Amano 461T is going to definitely last a lot longer. Uh, and another thing to consider here is that it's $29.90 versus $36.99. Both of these models actually do have 10% coupons available. So you're going to save almost $4 on this one here, at least $3 on the 461TR. So just keep that in mind depending on which one that you go with. Okay, now finally, if I do a comparison between the toner and the Mauno 461T, there are a couple distinct things here that you're going to notice. So if we zoom in here on the on the right here, the Mauno, it's got a more circular design, more spherical design uh, to the actual microphone itself. Whereas if we look at the toner, you can see here it's got a more square like design. Um, so that might not really seem important. But one of the things that I've noticed is that the toner is extremely sensitive so that if you are not aiming your mouth directly in front of the device, it loses um, the audio level and, and quality very quickly, very easily. Whereas with this device, it may be part of that spherical design. There may be other components to it as well. It might be just the device. But I do think that that is a component of it with the spherical design. If I am further away from it and not directly in the right angle, it still picks up the audio fairly well. For example, if I come over here, or I speak to the side, or if I speak to the other side, it still at least captures the audio relatively decent, whereas the toner is almost unusable if I am using it from different angles. Um, now, unfortunately, I can't do any live tests right now with my toner model. Um, and it is this one here. You can see that both of these I did purchase. This one I've had since um, October of 2020. I can't test this one right now, actually, because it just recently stopped working, and I actually have no idea why. Um, I've tried a number of different methods to get it to work, um, but whenever I plug it in, it may be a bad cable or something like that. But whenever I try to get it to work, um, it just doesn't record any audio. It creates static. So I am in the process of potentially replacing that. But now that I have this new mic from Malno, um, I'm not really as concerned about it. So what I'll actually be doing when I do the audio test is I'm going to play some audio from one of my videos recorded in the same settings and level as what I'm using here with the PM461T from Malno. That way you can hear a direct comparison when I recorded um, audio with this microphone from the toner. So let's go ahead and just do that. Let's just do a quick comparison. Right now I am going to play some audio from one of my videos that was recorded at the same levels as my Mauno is right now. So here is the audio sample from the toner. Hey guys, Haxor Tech here for another video, and today we're going to be talking about a streaming app called Melon. And now you can compare that to what you're hearing now, um, which is being recorded again directly on the Mauno AU PM461T. So overall, my review for this particular device is uh, very positive. I definitely enjoy the sound quality of it. I think it's better sound quality than the toner. So while I don't have the 461TR um, that I mentioned by Tobias Holenstein, for example, did a video on this and did a review for that model. Uh, while I cannot compare it to it directly in watching videos on that model, I do believe the sound quality is equal, um, at least if not better than that model, because this is again the improved model um, to that version. Both are great devices. Um, but most notably where I feel that the, the biggest advantage that you're getting out of this model is really the design, the better pop filter that is made of metal. You don't have to really even get an external pop filter like what I have on the toner. 
And if I'm honest, even though it definitely adds an additional layer to it, you can see that when I'm comparing the toner here, the toner has just this one screen. Uh, it's really a screen to protect um, against that, you know, the popping noises. While that is a positive thing, I do find that sometimes this screen um, doesn't bend the way that I need it to, and it's kind of hard to adjust, and it does add extra weight, and there's some negatives to it. So personally, the more condensed, smaller metal screen here tends to work very well, and it doesn't seem to work any less effectively um, than the screen on the toner. So this is just my preference in terms of the design. I really like, again, how... Um, sturdy the device feels it feels extremely sturdy and not just the base also the uh, top part as well the actual physical microphone feels very sturdy as well um, I noticed that the toner it does feel very almost hollow whereas this device um, feels much heavier and much more premium all right, guys, and that's really all I wanted to cover. I just wanted to do a very in-depth comparison um, of the old model to the new model, as well as uh, a comparison to what I was previously using. Uh, I'm really liking this microphone. It's definitely going to be my new primary microphone for my videos, and I think it's absolutely a great pick um, if you're trying to find a good microphone for gaming, streaming, anything like that. Um, this is definitely a great pick. Uh, and I had previously titled my video, which I'll be changing for the toner TC777. At the time, I felt that was the best budget um, microphone that you could get. Um, just in doing a comparison to a lot of the other microphones that I saw online, that was the one that I did try out. Um, and it was a great device. It still is a great device, even though I'm having issues with it. But this, I think, is a much better um, device. And not only that, if you look at the actual price, $34.99 for the toner is actually pretty cheap. But the Maono 461T is only $2 more. And with a 10% coupon, the final price actually comes out to less than the toner model. And you'll see here that there's almost no ratings on this listing here because it did come out very recently. There are plenty of ratings on the 461TR, so knowing that this is the improvement, um, you can certainly reference all of the reviews. If I pop that up over here, you can see the rating between the toner and the Mauno 461TR are about the same, but again, just keep in mind that when you're comparing this particular device, it's literally the same microphone, but with improvements to the hardware that you get as this model here where there are many videos online that kind of cover um, what you're getting there. So let me know what you guys think. I think this is a great device. Um, the link of course is in the description if you guys are interested in picking one up. I uh, would love to know what you think if you've used it. If you haven't, are you interested in using this device? Uh, or is there another device that you're interested in using that you have questions or would like to hear back about? That's it for this video guys. I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video.